All right, we have video going. Now we have audio running in three, two, one. Just drop that ass, bitch. It's open micers in the house. Pop that pussy with that open micers logo in your mouth. Kissing with his bald ass head. Jacob looking in bed. It's open micers, bitch. Heard what I said. Drop that ass, drop that ass. Open micers in the house. Drop that ass, pop that pussy. Open micers in the house. Open micers in the house. Open micers in the mouse. Drop that ass, pop that pussy. Open micers in the house. The mic is now open. That's right. The mic <laughs> is now open. My name is Jason Robbins. I'm Jacob Craig, and we are back with another hot host episode this month, you guys. Our regularly scheduled host episode. Jason, thank you so much for for being the guest on Open Micers tonight. <laughs> oh, thank you for having me. I've, I've, it's been a dream to be on uh, Open Micers podcast. It really has. I know, I know. We're hit makers. We, you know, people will find fame after stopping off here. The whole spiel that we tell everybody. Yeah. Uh, not you, though. You're not going to get <laughs> any. I'm sorry <laughs> to inform you. But <laughs> ah, you never know. I still got a few good years left. Yeah, I would say years. <laughs> <laughs> years, sure. Good. I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed you're not the one to lose a foot first. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fucked up if like I got in an accident and lost a foot first? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. That was my point that whole episode. If anyone didn't listen to our uh, episode with Ready to Believe You a while back, we discussed who out of the four of us, between me, Jason, Wally Phelps, and Carlos Longoria, or I Am The Rampage, uh, would lose a foot first. And the statistics are like exceedingly high for any one of us, except for Jason. But the fact that Jason is just so fucking clumsy evens it out. Like so accident prone. Dude, did I tell you, you might I, just lose your fucking foot? Did I tell you I fell down the stairs again the other day? <laughs> of course you fucking did, dude. That's what I'm saying. Like you're gonna fall down your yeah. stairs and your legs gonna get caught under you or something, and you're gonna that that foot's gonna be gone. It was super early in the morning too, and like I went to go walk down the stairs and just completely missed, and like my heels were like bouncing on the stairs for like six stairs i just went down the stairs and like completely wrenched my shoulders and my back it was terrible Dude. how does this happen how do you just fall down the stairs look you're such a hypocrite because the argument you tell me all the time is like how do you just shit your pants how do you just fall downstairs because <laughs> it, it's been a lifelong uh bout of clumsiness that i've had i tell you where i get it i get it from my mom she is the most accident prone like i have seen that woman just fall down for i when i was a kid i used to wonder like how, how does this woman just fall down for no reason she'd just be what when i was a kid she would just be walking around the house and just boom just fall the hell down for no reason that's where i get it from you guys have to have vertigo or something. Probably. I, don't, I mean, I do get dizzy a lot. So it's, and ever since like I had COVID last October, dude, I get dizzy, like crazy dizzy spells. Like I'll just be yeah. sitting here and all of a sudden I'm just like, whoa, holy shit. That's probably not COVID. It's, it's probably all the stuff that they put in the vaccine. Thanks, <laughs> Bill Gates. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I have never had like um like dizziness like that before. I asked my doctor about it back in February and he was like, "Oh, you're probably just dehydrated." I'm like, "All right, well, if I get a brain tumor, we'll come back to the whole dehydrated thing, jackass." <laughs> no, you won't. He had just bets correctly. You won't fucking be back for anything. <laughs> uh, like he didn't even like try to check for anything he's just like i told him like dude i get really dizzy and like and my head spinning and he's just like hey you're probably dehydrated just drink more water i'm like oh uh, i guess water fixes everything huh 
That's crazy that he didn't even want to do a brain scan. He's probably like, it's just you're. It's too late for you. Yeah, <laughs> we're not. We're not going to waste any resources finding out what's wrong. You want to know uh, something else too? Like literally overnight, my eyesight went to shit. Like I had perfect, mostly perfect eyesight m my whole life, and then like two or three years ago, just like boom, overnight, can't see shit. Like you're like you'd pull a reverse Spider Man. Yeah, like I just can't see anything now. Like I had, I had to get like get uh, readers so I can at least like see the when I'm playing like Nintendo Switch or like looking at my phone or reading. I gotta have glasses now. Yeah, I, I really want you to take a picture of you just like sitting in a recliner reading a newspaper with your hearing aid <laughs> and readers on. Newspaper? What year is this, Grandpa? Hey, what year is it for you, Grandpa? <laughs> Sitting in your recliner watching, I don't know, Rocky Horror Picture Show on VHS or some shit? <laughs> I don't know what you watch. Hey, that sounds like a mighty fine weekend, weekend actually. Yeah, see? See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you know, we, we both have a couple of things that we want to talk about this host episode. Uh, Jason, well, what, do, what do you got for the show? What, what gifts are you bringing to the table this episode? Um, I wanted to ask you if you noticed this. Because, you know, the uh, people listening to the show, me and Jacob both live on the Gulf Coast, uh, the Gulf of Mexico here on the, the Mississippi Gulf Coast. And we're in deep red country here, like deep Trump loving MAGA people like down here. It's 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 all over the place. But have you noticed like it, it, we're in the type of place that, you know, I would especially after Trump got shot. Like, dude, I'd be going around town and there's just huge, you know, Ford F-350 dualies with like smoke stacks and Trump flags just all over the place. And I'm like, sir, it is 630 in the morning. It is too early <laughs> for that foolishness. And it's like all over town, like Trump shit everywhere. And then the last couple of weeks, nothing. And they, and nothing it's been i haven't seen the first trump flag in like three weeks yeah I, I haven't seen any of it lately to be quite honest with you and i thought that like maybe i was just getting used to it because it I is like so too but i've been actively paying attention and i don't see it anymore i, I don't even like yeah. see it on well i did go through a massive purge of people on some social media stuff like facebook just muting and blocking and unfriending people because I'm just tired of oh, seeing this shit. Glad I made the cut. <laughs> I feel like I was on the bubble. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't, I, and I feel like that's the way it should be. Like I was talking to a coworker today about like the reason I've never voted is because it's basically just wasting my vote. Like no matter which way I vote, you know, it's like if I go against the grain and vote blue, Mississippi's never going to turn purple. Like, never. It will be, it's going to be one of the states that will always be red. Well, that's the and thing. If, it, it could be, but it's so gerrymandered. Like, it's never going to happen. Right. Because, I mean, it's the people who are playing the game. But, you know, I mean, mark my words for as long as fucking people exist, as long as the system exists, Mississippi will, will always be red. Like it, it's just, it's not going to be like the blue wave in Georgia with the Stacey Abrams thing or whatever. Mississippi is the state that will always be fucking red. So I could vote red if I wanted to, but then that's also still just wasting my vote because Mississippi's still going to be red. Yeah, but so the way either I way, look at it, I'm it, just volunteering myself for fucking jury duty <laughs> that I don't want from voting. <laughs> the only reason I, I I still vote even though I vote blue is because I, I just. I think of it as I'm canceling someone else's vote out. <laughs> like, uh, like if I have people in my life that are like super, you know, red conservative or whatever, I'm like, I canceled your vote out. So, yeah. Yeah. And my thing is like, I, I can't find a single candidate that I have enough faith in or says enough that I believe for me to put any backing behind. Cause I, I feel like I'm a rare breed where like, I don't, I, I just can't consider myself identifying with any political party because I see a lot of right wing stuff that makes a lot of sense for me. And I also see a lot of left wing stuff that makes a lot of sense for me. And so if I, you know, backing either candidate 
They only believe half of what I fucking want. <laughs> and there's no third party like RFK that's both. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, like, yeah, you know, like my beliefs are actually thought out and fucking layered as an individual. And I can't put any faith that, uh, you know, Kamala Harris or Donald Trump will fucking completely withhold like what I think should be happening. Well, the crazy thing is, is like you're supposed to like <clears throat> think globally, act locally. So I have always voted in like, you know, just the small local elections and like the last presidential collect, uh, collect, uh, election went to my polling place down the road. It was like th a three hour wait for me to mm. get in to vote the, the Biden uh, uh, Trump 2020 election. It was like a three hour wait to get in there. Any other election, like local election, like mayor, city council, that type of stuff, dude. The last like mayor election, I went up there and was literally in and out in less than two minutes. Like there was nobody there. Yeah. And, and I might start voting for local stuff because I do think that, you know, you can't actually enact change on a local level like that. But my thing is that like, especially here in Mississippi, whoever's in power probably has all the resources and everything stacked in their favor to stay in power until they do something so fucked yeah. that they just have to go. Yeah. I mean, look at who our governor is and dude, they, him and Brett Favre literally stole millions of dollars from poor people, <laughs> you know, yeah. like welfare in this state. And everybody's like, Yay, Brett Favre. Like, what is wrong with you people? Like, the mayor is still in there. Like, what are we doing? What are we this doing is, here? This is how low IQ everyone that, like, we live around is. They're just like, hell of a football player, though, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember that? You remember how good a football uh, player he was? <laughs> but, yeah, the, the Trump MAGA stuff, like, I haven't seen it around as much. Like, it got to the point after, you know, his assassina assassination attempt, like, I, I I couldn't get away from it. It was fucking everywhere. And yeah. I, I literally at one point was ready to just like drive my car off of a bridge. Like I was just so tired of seeing Trump shit everywhere. And then once Biden dropped out and, and Kamala Harris came in, like it's been quiet around here. I don't yeah. see Trump flag. Well, except for one guy in my neighborhood. And that dude has had a fresh... Uh, you know, Trump make America great again flag uh, in, on his, his flagpole for like eight years now. Like just a fresh new flag every week. And, and he's got the, uh, the, the don't tread on me flag too. So he, he's going hard for those two flags. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I, I think that they just feel like they don't have to try anymore because like, you know, obviously Biden beat Trump. It's a fucking close race. It's just a walk now, dude. Surviving an assassination attempt and then just tag team and Kamala in, like in the fucking eleventh hour, it's a walk, dude. We're getting Trump. Like you, you don't have to try. Oh, you don't, I don't have to know. try. I, I think Kamala's going to give him a run for. The, I think she's going to win. Honestly, I don't know, man. But because people like, are so, just tired. I think I my uh, the way I look at, it, I think people are just tired of Trump's shit. Well, here, here's my thing, right? You're either too stupid to look into Kamala Harris's <laughs> political record, which means you're probably voting for Trump, or you're smart enough to look into Kamala Harris's political record, which means you don't want to vote for Kamala Harris. Hey, <laughs> so I'm, either fucking way, I'm what are we doing? I'm voting for, and because I don't care, I just want Trump out of the out of the fucking picture. I, I I said before she came in, I'll vote for a fucking potato before I vote for Donald. I would rather see a, a, a potato, just a literal, like, lumpy, uh, rotten potato. Just put it, it in the, the presidential seat there in the Oval Office and let it run the fucking country for four years. I would rather see that than Donald Trump get back in office. I don't like the adjectives you use to describe that potato because they also describe me. Uh, <laughs> you need to fucking watch that yeah. rhetoric right got, there, buddy. Got eyes growing on your back. Is that what you got? Hell yeah, on? I got something growing back there. I can't <laughs> see. Hopefully, it, hopefully it is eyes, so I can see what's going on back there. 
But speaking of the MAGA stuff, I did want to bring something up, and this might anger some people uh, locally here. Um, I'm talking about some of the local comedians. Uh, the reason I stopped going, the reason I don't like going to the local uh, open mic here anymore is uh, what is with all the like the the new some the newer people, some of the older people, but it's like nothing but like gay and trans jokes. It's like gay joke, trans joke, joke, gay joke, trans. And it's like, it's not even, it's not funny. Like, why? Yeah, don't get me started on this, dude. This could be a whole fucking podcast. Um, it's not, it's not just them. I mean, they're, so they're doing what they always do, right? Like fucking hack open micers who haven't written anything new in years and new people just starting out. What they do is they just emulate what the the hot people are doing right now and the hot people right now are who all's in austin joe rogan dave chappelle who for whatever reason are just making constant gay and trans jokes i'm assuming just because that's what people their age fucking do i guess i don't know it's not funny and and if you have to rely on that shit to get cheap laughs you're a fucking hack and you need to just just quit <laughs> because Here. if you can't make a joke there is like I have made LGBTQ jokes in the past, but you know what? When I make my jokes, I make sure there it, it, that everyone can laugh at it, and it nobody feels like I'm attacking them. I don't do mean jokes. The shit I hear at by the local comedians is fucking mean shit, and they need to fucking rethink their fucking priorities. Here's my thing. I think everyone's allowed one. <laughs> all right <laughs> it's like the n-word <laughs> it's the n-word you're allowed one it's not even that all right it's like you're allowed one gay or trans joke okay so let's just say this like you it's all about intent though you can make the joke if your intent is pure if you i don't just, even care about intent if you're I don't just care about doing intent. it Look. if you're just doing it to be fucking mean and shitty that that's not cool at all well, here's here's my thing, right? Like, say you you go to an open mic and someone goes on stage, and you're like, and they open up with a joke about Jews, right? A Jewish joke, <laughs> and it's funny. It's a great fucking joke. It's really good. And you're like, ah, oh, shit, that's that's funny. That's a good joke. Yeah. And then the next joke they start setting up is about the Jews, <laughs> and you go, huh. <laughs> well i mean i guess it tracks with what he he just said right yeah. and then they're closing out their set they get to their big closer and it's just about the holocaust and you're like this is fucking weird this is mean yeah. why would this guy have a whole set bashing the jews this isn't comedy like you're allowed one Okay, you're allowed one. Make it a really good one. Yeah, make you it good. You don't need your whole set to be that. And and it, it doesn't even have to be gay or trans jokes. It it could be anything making fun of, a, a you know a marginalized group. If you're gonna make fun, may, do it to where where they can laugh at it too, and not be mean about it. But yeah. if you're just doing it because you're like. Like, if you walk into the local comedy place to do open mic and you're wearing a fucking Kill Tony hat and you're not funny and all you can fucking do is gay and trans jokes, get the fuck off the stage. I know exactly who you're talking about. It was the guy who was at the open mic with the fucking Kill Tony hat on. <laughs> it's not just, not just the people in the Kill Tony hats. It's fucking other people, too. But it's especially the people in the Kill Tony hat. <laughs> <laughs> that guy wanted to interrupt my set too, and I had to fucking roast him to make him shut up real quick so that he didn't fuck with my timing because I was like practicing mm -hmm. a 10 minute set. I'm like, brother, you're never going to have 10 minutes. You're going to quit before you have five. Like, fucking just <laughs> shut your trap. Let me work. And <laughs> if, if, if there are local people, like, if you get pissed off listening to this, because I know there's a lot of local people that listen to the show, if you get pissed off listening to this and what I just said, then yeah, Fucking I'm probably fight me, pussy. I'm probably talking about you. So if you if you take offense, the shoe fits, motherfucker. Wear it. 
So I'm saying, like, if if you have to rely on fucking hateful ass fucking jokes to get cheap fucking laughs, you're not funny. You're not a funny person. You're just a mean, shitty person. Yeah. So here's my thing. Something that happened to me a while ago. I got rid of a joke that I really, really liked because I thought that it had legs. I I closed on it for a a little bit. I'd seen its potential. It, It did good a lot. And basically the premise of the joke is like, you know, different races working on your car because people will be like, oh, well, I don't see color. I'm like, oh, really? You want a da 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 working on your car or whatever? And I go through like every race, like working on cars throughout the bit or whatever. And then it got to the point where, you know, I'm doing this joke in rooms full of people of every race. And I just say to myself, I don't think I'm a good enough comedian yet to pull this off. I think I'm going to put this in my back pocket and revisit it later. And that's me at seven years into comedy. That's me with the most experience of out of almost everyone on the local scene. So if I don't have the fucking comedic legs to do that, then you probably don't either. And you probably should write jokes on easier subjects to write jokes on. Yeah. I mean, there's some female. There's definitely female comedians here, do, here too, that do the same shit. Stop. Female comedian? That's an oxymoron, Jason. <laughs> just what stop. are we talking about? <laughs> just stop with the mean ass shit. Just be funny on your own. Don't rely on mean ass shit. And if you are just a mean fucking person, maybe comedy ain't for you. <laughs> you know, go fucking join the KKK or something. You know, I, I don't know. You can do both. Yeah, well, <laughs> I you mean, could, you can definitely you could do be, that. You, you could do all the clan rally. You could be the resident comedian for the clan rallies. I'm sure you can hey. make a pretty good living doing that. No, you can't. Don't take my gigs. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I need to work in this town. And if you're sitting there listening to, you're still listening and you're pissed off and you're like, well, you're not funny, motherfucker. I'm like, never said I was. And if you think I'm not funny, no I one has. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> no one, no one's ever said you were. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. We, we talked pre show about like what we had for this episode. And I was like, ah, I got a couple of things I think are funny. And like, Jason's like, yeah, I've got a couple things too. And these are Jason's things that he's bringing to the podcast. <laughs> just fucking. I just had some just stuff like, I needed to get off my chest because this is stuff that I've been, kind of been holding in for a few weeks because we haven't done a hostful in a while. And I just needed yeah. to get that off my chest because that shit bugs me. It really, it makes me not want to go to the open mics. Yeah, I'm just saying like I brought two funny stories and you brought two debate topics. <laughs> well, let's go for <laughs> what did you bring? All right. Oh, I'm trying to get them out as quickly as I can. All right. Um, well, that's it. That's all we got for tonight, everybody. Oh, no, <laughs> dang it. <laughs> so uh, there's a there's a new janitor at, at my work, right? You, your mom? And <laughs> Hey, this is my time now, all right? I gave you your time. Listen, look, I gave you your time for the fucking debate topics, all right? Now give me my time. All right. right? Tell my Suzanne time. I said happy birthday, too. I fucking won't do that. Um, <laughs> so there's this, the, a new janitor at my work, right? And he's like the most old school dude I've ever met in my entire life. Like walking up and down the halls, talking about like, oh, them women hard headed, ain't they? And I'm like, hell yeah, they are, brother. Does he have a nickname? <laughs> them women are Does he have a nickname? Because the janitor in my, my high school, his nickname was Cookie. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a nickname. I think if I called him Cookie, I'd get punched probably. He, there was one time I was walking down Senior Hall, and there, nobody else was in there. It was me and my buddy, and uh, I had to burp, so I burped really fucking loud to where it like echoed down the hall. And all I saw was Cookie's head pop around the corner. And he goes, "You get me on you." <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Cookie, he might be the same guy. I don't know. Maybe he rebranded himself. Uh, but anyways, the, the new janitor at, at, at my work has um, he accosted me a while ago about if I knew how to program radio stations on his car radio. <laughs> and I was like on my way to the parking lot to go home. So I said, no, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> and he said, oh, OK, I guess I'll take it down to the uh, body shop over there. I bet one of them know how to do that. 
So he took his car to a body shop for them to program the radio station. And uh, he came up to me a few weeks ago asking me, you know, if I if I knew how to get car parts. I'm like, yeah, you just like go to AutoZone or Advanced Auto Parts or whatever. He's like, none of them have them. I'm like, okay. He's like, I need a breather, right? You understand me? A breather is a part that makes the car breathe. For a 1989 Lincoln Town Car, and I'm like, what the fuck is a right? breather? I don't know. <laughs> so I'm like, all right. He's like, it's a breather. You understand me? It's the part that go from here to here. And it makes the car breathe. I was like, all right. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know. And um, he's like, and so I look it up on uh, eBay or whatever, and I'm like, can't find it anywhere. I don't. I don't know what it looks like. I don't know what you're looking for. Like and I asked him, like, can you take a picture of it for me? And he pulls out a Motorola flip, a Motorola flip phone. It's like I don't, can't take great pictures on this thing. I'll tell you what, <laughs> I'll bring it up here on my lunch break and pop the hood and let you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in a whole thing now. So he comes and gets me when he gets the car. We go out there. <laughs> he pops the hood and lifts it. And he's like, all right, I'm looking for the part that goes from here to here. And I'm like, oh, so you're looking for a hose. No, it's not a hose. Okay. I don't know then. So I take a picture of it and I try to Google search it and nothing comes up. And I'm like, all right, look, I'll look for this part wherever. I search like uh, part database, warehouse databases or whatever. And the part is, um, what do you call it? Like uh, out of production. Oh. So... The only way he's going to get this specific, and it's a hose, by the way. It is a hose. I was going to ask, a breather it, is he hose. talking about a filter? Like, what, what the hell is a breather? No, it's, it's a breather hose, but it's for a 1989 town Lincoln Town Car. And it's a part that Jesus. no car is made now need. <laughs> that thing still runs? <laughs> a bit, I fucking guess so. He drove it up there. But uh, yeah, it's out of stock or out of production or whatever. So the only way he's going to get it is if he buys another 1989 Lincoln Town car <laughs> and takes that part off of that one to put on the one he has. And so I tell, I try to explain this to him. I'm like, hey, it's out of production. They don't make it anymore. No one's selling just that on eBay. So I, I can't find it. I don't know what to do for you. I'm sorry. He's like, what's that other one? I'm like, you mean Craigslist? <laughs> yeah, Craigslist. Check on Craigslist for me. Like, I'm his fucking parts guy now. <laughs> he just says, yeah, check on Craigslist for me. <laughs> like, it's my uh, fucking responsibility. He's taking you on as his son, basically. You're his son now. You have to do all the things that he doesn't know how to do. I fucking guess so, dude. So, but you know, there's like you pull it places all over the place around here. Just call them up and ask if they have one, and then if they do, just tell them to go there and pull the part himself. But they don't. They're, he will never fucking find it, dude. The <laughs> only way he's going to find it is if he gets it from another fucking car. And I've tried to explain that to him for literal weeks, and now every time, every single day multiple times a day we'll walk by each other in the hallway and he goes find that part yet and i go nope <laughs> and we just keep walking uh, and he's like oh, i hope someone finds it i've got another person looking for me too he expects me to just scour the fucking internet for a car part that does not exist i, I, I don't know what to tell you you're stuck you're the you're this guy's go-to internet guy I guess so, dude. I fucking guess so. If I find it, I better like get an inward pass or something. <laughs> it better be worth my time. <laughs> Give me something to make it worth it. Just get him the number to a you pull it place. Have him go do it himself. Dude, I'm telling you, he won't do it. He won't do it. He won't fucking listen. I keep telling him over and over again. I keep trying to just find my out. I keep telling him like I'm out. I'm done. It doesn't exist. I can't find it. He's like, all right, you just keep looking for me now. <laughs> like, oh, okay whatever dude so, so what if this is some sort of weird test in life where if you find that part for this dude like it, it'll be almost like a like a miracle will happen for you 
Like you'll win the yeah. lottery or something if you find this one obscure car part for this guy. He's like It turns out he's actually God. Yeah, he's like he's just like God or like, you know, some angel down on down on the earth that's just like I I'm I'm gonna uh ask people for the specific car part. If they can find it, they'll 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 win like, you know, they'll get they'll win the lottery or something. Yeah, they'll just go straight to heaven. Yeah. Just get beamed straight up. <laughs> I don't want to go up there anyway. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, dude. There's no fun up there. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, the the other thing that I had brought that that was story one. I put the kibosh on that. I know we're running a little over, but uh, I was watching this one. I hope is fucking worth it. Okay. Uh, I was watching this show called Gordon Ramsay's Food Stars. Have you ever watched this show? No. <laughs> it's a fairly new show. It's got like two seasons. And uh, the last cooking show I watched was Justin Wilson. <laughs> so like, I don't watch cooking shows. Yeah, well, it, it's it's not really like a cooking show. It's like they have to convince Gordon Ramsay to invest in their company, which is like a food related company, and they have to compete. And like at the end of every competition, like the team that loses, they get like like grilled about why they lost, and like they assess like. Well, you didn't show a lot of determination in that challenge, so you're not going to be the food star or whatever. I and the last person you, left. This gets sounds invested. boring as hell. <laughs> this is what that sounds well, like. It can be, but then you have motherfuckers like Tyler. Okay, let me tell you about Tyler. <laughs> so Tyler, Tyler rolls up. No, no. Somehow even more fucking like hick country than Tyler Arsenal. <laughs> Tyler Arsenal is not hick country, and I don't know why I said that, but. Uh, no, just some hick from fucking Arkansas who he invented like uh, like a some kind of barbecue grill where like you you like it lights charcoal for you or some shit like that. Well, how do you does it go to the store and buy the charcoal and put it in and it in itself? Well, obviously, a fuck doesn't fucking do that, Jason. <laughs> it's fucking dumb. <laughs> but but this guy rolls in there. And he's like, yeah, I did this barbecue grill or whatever. They're like, how many have you sold? He's like, 70. They're like, how do you deliver it? He's like, I put it in the back of my truck and I drive it to whoever bought it. I've driven, I've driven through seven states before to deliver a barbecue grill. So this guy's just loading his fucking barbecue grills up in his fucking pickup truck and taking it where it needs to go. And Gordon Ramsay somehow picks him for his team. And uh, the first challenge is they have to create like a food truck, like all of them, like the whole team has to pull together and, you know, decide who's going to be the cooks and who's who's going to be taking orders and all this shit. And while they're all bouncing ideas around Tyler's one and only contribution, he just chimes in and goes, what if we had jugglers? <laughs> <laughs> and what? everyone just stops and looks at him and they're like yeah i guess we can have jugglers i guess why for what they had the jugglers <laughs> tyler got his fucking jugglers dude because he thought that jugglers would make people want to come wait in the line and so they're getting ready they're setting up for this food truck right and they're asking Tyler what he's doing, like the camera crew. And he's like, I'm just helping out wherever I can. I'm just going wherever I'm needed. Like everyone else has a specific job. You're at the kitchen. You're taking orders. They basically tell told Tyler to go boil some fucking water or some shit. <laughs> and it's like, Tyler, you're useless. Just fucking help out wherever you can. So he goes into the kitchen and there's this lady who's trying to explain to him, look, here is a bin of American cheese. I need you to unwrap this American cheese and then put the unwrapped slices of American cheese into this bin. And Tyler says, I don't know how to unwrap American cheese. I don't use American cheese. I've never seen American cheese before. <laughs> so they had to teach Tyler how to unwrap American cheese. <laughs> Where is this guy from? He's he's from Arkansas. He's lived on a farm his entire life, and he doesn't own a TV. <laughs> I mean, how do you not know how to open a, a pack a pack of or a slice of American cheese? Like that's the cheapest cheese on the planet. 
the whole time he was just like, I don't use American cheese. I don't know. I'm sorry. I don't use American cheese. And so uh, their team loses, obviously. And they go to the elimination. And Gordon Ramsay's asking them, whose idea was the fucking jugglers? And everyone's like, Tyler. <laughs> He's like, Tyler, what were you thinking with the jugglers? He's like, I thought it'd be cool, man. I don't know. <laughs> this is the fucking jugglers, you know? <laughs> and so... He starts asking everyone, like, like Tyler, what did, you, like, what did you do with this challenge? And someone chimes in, and they're like, "I had to teach Tyler how to unwrap American cheese." <laughs> and Tyler's just like, "I don't use American cheese. <laughs> I didn't know how to do it." This cannot be real. There's no it's way this is real, real, dude. I promise you, it's real. They had to teach Tyler how to unwrap American cheese. He knows how to build barbecue uh, grills, but he doesn't know how to unwrap cheese, and he thinks jugglers are cool. I'm telling you, they don't make men like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> they do not make men like this anymore. And if they did, I'd I'd take care of them. Uh, you know what we need for this show, Jacob? Jugglers. That's what we, we need, need for the show. Fucking jugglers, dude. <laughs> but basically. They promptly sent Tyler's ass back to Arkansas. <laughs> he, he, they, he got immediately eliminated because of everything that was his idea. Wow. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't even know, like, reality shows. I'm just not into reality shows. Like, I just don't, like, cooking shows and stuff like that. that I've tried to watch stuff like that before, like um, Iron Chef and things like that that I've heard are good shows and I'll watch like, uh, uh, like a half an episode. And I'm just like, this is boring. I bet you'd be into it. If they had Tyler on it. And probably I'd be like this motherfucker don't know how to open cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else is like, you know, fucking like poaching lobster or whatever. Or they have like seven pots of water boiling and Tyler's <laughs> just sitting there struggling with the American cheese. That's the secret. I fucking get that's, it open. That's the secret to having a good reality show. You got to have a dumb hillbilly that doesn't know how to do anything. <laughs> yeah, he just starts juggling shit. <laughs> like, I thought it'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I th we're getting close to the end of the episode. Um, I did want to say that uh, the spirit... Halloween opened up around the corner from the house, so it's beginning a spooky season. So uh, I think we need to uh, maybe give out some recommendations for for uh, horror movies. Mm. So some of the best horror movies I've seen the last few years is, uh, um, oh, shit, uh, Deadstream, which you can see on Shudder and I think uh, Prime, I think, but it's called Deadstream. It's about this influencer streamer guy who goes to a haunted house and it's actually fucking haunted. It's freaking awesome. Uh, and also, yeah. Late Night with the Devil. Have you seen that yet? No, I've heard about it, though. I want to see it. It's so good. And it's really short, too. Like, it's only like an hour and 20 minutes. So it goes by really fast. But I oh, wow. loved it. You got to see that. I think yeah, it'll be, I definitely do. It'll be a, definitely be a recommendation I give to you that you'll actually like. Yeah, I definitely want to see it once I once I find out where it's streaming or whatever, or if it if it goes on streaming. Um, yeah, a couple that I've seen um, fairly recently, I guess, uh, the Pope's Exorcist with Russell Crowe. Oh yeah, like you kind of think it might be a dog shit movie, and it kind of <laughs> ends up being a dog shit movie, but also at the end of it, you're kind of like, aside from Russell Crowe, it was a really good movie. Yeah, <laughs> the worst part of the movie is Russell Crowe. <laughs> I did start watching Smile last night because there's a, a sequel coming. Um, but I, the first Smile just Brown? dropped. On, I don't know. I guess it's called Smile Two or a, a Grin. I don't know. It's it's a sequel. <laughs> grin. It's yeah. got to be called Grin. <laughs> but I started watching that last night, but I ran out of time, so I got to finish watching it later tonight. But it was pretty good. Saw half of it. It's pretty good. Yeah, I need to check it out. Um, another one I, I really liked, it has like a bad uh, Rotten Tomatoes score or whatever. I, I don't know what people actually think about it, but uh, the movie Antlers I thought was really good. Uh, I saw the previews for that, but I never got around to watching it. It's really good. It's a creature feature. Um, no one real famous in it or anything, just a, just a creature feature and... Uh, Without giving too much away, it's a creature feature where the creature is Wendigos. 
Yeah. And I fucking love Wendigos, <laughs> bro. I fucking love Wendigos. So yeah, Antlers is fucking it's a good movie, I think. Well, um, if you're if you like giant monsters, um, definitely watch Godzilla minus one and oh, God. watch uh Godzilla uh X Kong. Dude, it is so dumb. It's awesome. Yeah. It I I've seen it. it. I really liked it. It's so stupid, but it's awesome. No, I really liked it. I thought it was the best one so far, ironically. Like, you would think that the, the further along they get, the shittier they'd yeah. be. The, the newest one's actually really good. Dude, Kong gets an infinity gauntlet to, to be yeah. ass with. I mean, it's just you can't get any. And let's talk about the guy, the 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 dentist. Yeah. How do you get that job? <laughs> like, how, like, things just happen in this movie that are, like, so convenient. But it's okay because it's such a stupid movie you just buy into it yeah it's a stupid universe you can't have everyone be like you know super serious in this world they're like oh yeah we're just gonna be serious and live our normal lives while fucking kaiju are fighting <laughs> like in like every other rendition of the shit they're like nah i'm gonna be a fucking gorilla dentist man yeah <laughs> i mean this is guy's <laughs> job is literally to be a dentist for kong that's what he yeah. does gave, and he gave him a gold tooth that's fucking sick. That's fucking sick, dude. Let's, let's not talk about the parallels of that. <laughs> Kong getting a fucking grill. Let's not it just talk says, about that, bro. It says, it says Kong right across the front. Dude, they, if they don't do that for the next movie, what are we doing here? They can't, bro. They can't give him a full fucking grill. The dude, gold they could give is Godzilla one, too. Imagine that. That'd be awesome. Both of them going at it, and they both got gold grills going on. That'd be the shit. It'd be so stupid, but it would fit. Like, nobody would question it because it's so stupid. You're just like, this is awesome. Where's my popcorn? I'd question that. <laughs> I'd question it a little bit. I like questioning stupid shit. That's why I do this show with you every Wednesday. Yeah. And Godzilla minus one is great, but there there is some questionable stuff in it. Like if Godzilla is supposed to be standing up in the ocean yet, they're trying to sink him in the ocean, but he's standing up the whole time. It's like, what the fuck is he standing on? Uh, the ocean floor? No, because uh. the ocean floor is like two miles down, but he's yet. So he's... you think Godzilla ain't two miles big? <laughs> Maybe he's got a fat ass and he's floating. Godzilla thick. <laughs> Godzilla <laughs> thick, son. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta watch minus one, but also I don't know how to read, so I don't know. Yeah. I got I just guess, guess I gotta learn how to speak Japanese real quick. No, it's actually just watch it with subtitles. You'll get used to it. Yeah, I can't read. <sighs> Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta learn Japanese. I can't fucking read. <laughs> you can't, Someone help. Send you help. Can't, you can't read. You're eating your sandwiches with the wrapping still on the cheese. Like, what are you doing? I've never used American <laughs> cheese before. I don't know how to wrap it. And on that note, let's go ahead and get out of here. Is there anything we need to tell everybody before we go? Nah, just lock in, stay tuned, get in the Patreon. Uh, Patreon.com backslash open micers podcast. Hell or open yeah. podcast, excuse me. Uh, but yeah, we got, we got our both of our sets from the last uh, a Stone vs. Drunk vs. Sober that we did, plus the vlog is up and it's not going to go out on YouTube. So if you want to see it, you got to be in the Patreon for at least a buck a month. And that's patreon.com slash podcast. And on that note, if you want to email us, email us at open, openmikerspodcast at gmail.com. We're at openmikers.com and our link tree is linktree.com slash openmikerspodcast. And go to berezcoffeecode.com and use the code OMPODCAST for checkout for 10% off your order. We love all of you, and we'll see you again right here next week. Juggle them cheeses open. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching on YouTube. We'll see all of you next week.